assalamu alaikum my name is sara welcome to my channel and today what we are going to learn we are going to learn about shadow okay so what you know about shadow let's recall your previous knowledge shadow is the dark area right how the dark area is formed okay ji so first of all we will discuss about darkness how can you define darkness actually there is no definition of darkness darkness is is just absence of light uh, like i told you in previous video like there is no definition of cold there is a definition of heat but what is cold absence of heat is called cold so in the same way how can we define darkness the absence of light is actually the darkness okay so what is shadow shadow is the dark area and how the dark area is formed so we will discuss this first of all we will discuss about light that what is actually a light something that makes vision possible yes we can see anything around us because of light alhamdulillah we have eyes so first of all we have eyes due to eyes we can see anything but with the help of light if there will be no light around us then we will be unable to see anything around us okay just imagine you are sitting in dark room you have any person or any uh, thing in front of you you are unable to see it because there is no light okay ji and the other definition is the bright form of energy given off by something we know that light is a form of energy and the bright form of energy okay ji and we know that there are two sources of energy one is the natural source and the other one is the artificial one the natural source is a source is sun stars and the artificial source you can say lamp torch candlelight okay make sure moon is not a natural source okay because moon has no light of its own okay very important rule of light please don't forget like that light travels in straight line yes light never ever moves in a zigzag manner never ever this is the reason the shadow forms why because light travels in a straight line and if you place any object in front of light it actually blocks the light that's why the shadow is formed what is a shadow shadow is the dark area okay so the light blocked by an object and for shadow we need three main points first of all we need the light source light source may be a natural one maybe the sun maybe the stars or maybe the artificial one you can say lamp light torch candle okay <clears throat> so light is need light is a very important light act as a source then there is an object right which block light actually and then there is a screen where we can see the shadow so and make sure let me tell you that whenever we talk about the shadows shadow always forms on the opposite side of the light the very important point in shadow is about the object and there are three types of objects opaque transparent and transparent okay so only if opaque objects come in the path of light only then the shadow will formed okay because they block the light and what are the opaque objects opaque objects are those objects that doesn't allow light to pass through it due to which they block the light and the dark area will form that is called shadow okay and we can uh, say that there are different examples of opaque object you can say the bat ball you can say metals wood okay now what is actually the transparent transparent objects are those object that allow only some light to pass through it okay so not most of it not all of it but allow some light to pass through it due to which there is a shadow formation yes but a very faint shadow if we compare opaque object and transparent object okay in both there is a shadow formation but transparent objects ka jo shadow hota hai that is very very faint okay and the examples are 
वैक्स पेपर फ्रोस्टेड ग्लास ओके टिश्यू पेपर एंड देन देर कम्स द ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर दोज डैट अलाउ लाइट टू पास थ्रू इट राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एयर ग्लास ओके एयर वाटर ग्लास दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट दे अलाउ लाइट टू पास थ्रू इट ठीक है पास थ्रू इट का मतलब ये है कि वी कैन व्यू जब लाइट उसमें से अंदर से गुजर रही है हम उसको लाइट को देख सकते हैं सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इफ दे अलाउ द लाइट टू पास थ्रू इट सो दे डजेंट ब्लॉक द पाथ ऑफ लाइट ड्यू टू विच देर विल बी नो शेडो फॉर्मेशन ओके सो बेसिकली द ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट्स मेक द डार्कर एंड द डार्कर शेडो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी सन यू कैन सी ट्री एंड यू कैन सी द शेडो राइट सो बेसिकली सन इज अ सोर्स ऑफ लाइट राइट एंड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द ट्री इज एन ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट and the floor or the ground uh, that shows the shadow is the screen okay ji so if you observe it one by one we will discuss that the light and the shadow are always opposite as i told you that light and shadow will be opposite you can see in this picture okay and one very very important point that uh, these question always ask in exam that when shadow will be the longest and when shadow will be the shortest so uh, shadow will be the shortest at noon noon mean at around 12 o'clock why because at that time sun sun will be always above us so the shadow will be shortest as you can see in the third picture okay and the secondly the shadow will be longest in morning and in afternoon and you can see this the sh short angle and the long angle because of the light the shadow always changes okay okay ji let's summarize all the points quickly in one minute first of all that what is shadow shadow is formed when an opaque objects come in the path of the light due to which it blocks the light and the shadow is formed and where exactly the shadow form shadow forms on the opposite side of the light and the most important point when the shadow will be the longest shadow will be the longest when uh, in the early morning and afternoon but at the noon time exactly at 12 pm and 1 pm the shadow will be the shortest okay so that's all about the topic if you have any query you can ask in the comments and if you really want to know some information regarding any topic you are more than welcome to give me a topic thank you so much allah hafiz take care